What's up guys and welcome back to the Concrete Edge right here on Deco Creek TV. My name's Jeff and on today's episode we're going to be showing you guys how to determine proper thickness, create a consistent grade, and set grade stakes to make sure that your concrete goes down the right thickness. So stay tuned and you're going to learn all about it. Now today's show might be basic concrete 101 info, but this step is pretty important if you want to pour a quality slab of concrete. So the thickness is really going to be determined by what you plan on using the slab for in the end. Now there's no need to pour something 8 inches thick if you're just planning on walking on it. But if you plan on parking a big rig on there, well you're going to need something a little bit thicker than that sidewalk that you poured out in front of your house. So the first thing to do is to check your local building code just to make sure that there aren't any guidelines specific to your area. And your local ready mix plan is a great place to start if you're looking for this kind of info. Now in most cases, the standard for patios, sidewalks, porches, or anything that's just intended to, for foot traffic is four inches thick. Now this could also work for residential driveways or slabs that are made for light vehicle traffic. However, most contractors do prefer, prefer to pour these types of slabs four and a half to five inches thick. Now, anything intended for semis or heavy equipment will need to be even thicker, and six inch slabs is pretty common for this type of situation. Now, if you're planning on setting a heavy fireplace or building a retaining wall or anything that might need some added support, it's always a good idea to thicken those areas of the slab. So once you've determined the thickness, you got all your side forms set, well, now it's time to start filling that area with base material. Now we've always used number 57 limestone for this, but there are certainly other options out there. Now with the exception of the thickened areas, a consistent grade is crucial for long-term success. So try not to let it vary more than a quarter to a half an inch and never let it go below that minimum of four inches. A consistent grade is also important so you don't run short on concrete when you're pouring. Now if you're pouring a sidewalk or a really small slab, just set your screed board or a straight two by four on top of your forms and that way you can measure down and check the grade. For larger areas, we can just take this mason line, stretch it across the top of the forms, and just do the same thing. Now it is important that you pull this string nice and tight so it doesn't sag. Once you have everything to grade, go ahead and run a plate compactor over the entire area just to minimize settling later. Now, and if you want, you can recheck the grade after compacting just to make sure you're still at the proper depth. After all this is done, the reinforcement is in, the last step is setting some grade stakes. You did all this work to get this grade just right, but if you don't pour the concrete a consistent depth, man, all that work was for nothing. All we need for this is just that same string line and some number four rebar. Depending on slab thickness, you can cut this somewhere between 12 to 18 inches. Now we can just use a mini sledgehammer and we can drive these stakes down into the base material. Now spacing is going to depend on how long of a screed board you plan on using. I like to set these stakes just a foot or two farther apart than the length of my straight edge. So if we're using a 10 inch screed, well I like to pour about 12 by 12 foot base. Now once the concrete is set to height and we don't need that stake anymore, you can either drive it down out of the way or just take a vice grip and pull it back out. Following the steps in this video will set your pour up for proper thickness, consistent sub subgrade, and an even plane on the slab surface. Well guys, that's pretty much it for today's show. Please leave us a comment if we missed anything or if you have any questions on setting up a concrete slab before you pour. If you guys enjoy these videos, please let us know by hitting that like and subscribe buttons. And if you're already subscribed, don't forget about that bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and it really helps our channel out. So from all of us here at Deco Creek TV, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.